Welcome, everybody, to the Heart Coherence Collaborative. Today is a very, very special day. We're so excited to have our old friend, Matt Kahn. Not calling you old, but meaning <laughs> we've been friends for a while. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and his lovely fiance, Joy Kingsborough. Yeah, we couldn't be more happy to get to know uh, Joy today. And I just want to say, Matt, it's been a pleasure to, to really become a good friend over the last you know few months. So we're excited wow. to have you both with us. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you so you. much. Oh, we did the same time. <laughs> um, thank Thanks you so much. We, we, we love you. Both. Yeah. <laughs> did you see the hard coherence of that? It was literally, oh, I don't mean to brag, but here we go. That was, <laughs> we're feeling it. I mean, I really felt that. <laughs> all right, well, let's, let's <laughs> let everyone get into that same coherence and we'll yeah. start by all of us diving into the heart. Mm -hmm. So if everybody could focus your attention in the area of your heart and imagine that your breath is flowing in and out of your heart or chest area, breathing a little slower and deeper than usual. You can try a pace of five seconds on the in-breath, five seconds on the out-breath, in and out through the heart. And as you're breathing in and out through your heart, I just want you to feel the strength of your heart, the power of your heart, the gift of your heart. Really give thanks for this heart, because as long as you have it, you have life. And continuing that breathing pattern, breathe in some love and compassion for yourself, and then breathe out love and compassion to all of the people who are watching this virtually especially those who really need some love right now. And we would like everyone to just continue this breathing pattern and Matt and Joy are going to do a transmission of energy in the form of words that we'll all receive and breathe into our heart. As we come into this conversation together today, it's an absolute honor to be able to, amidst all that's happening in the world, amidst all the things that's happening in your world, what you're feeling in your body, in your life, in your family, in your community, that the opportunity to connect with each other and to open your heart anyway, to be in an experience of releasing the fears, anxieties, tension, to move that out of the body, through the body, while also releasing and moving love. Noticing that love is always present with any transmission, any conversation, any expression. Love is always potent. It's always available. It's always present. And it's always able to move out and through you in a way that helps you experience your greatest life, your greatest joy, no matter the conditions that we find ourselves here on this planet. And when we speak about love... We are not speaking about love in opposition to fear. We're not speaking about love in the avoidance or even the transcendence of sadness. We're not speaking about love as an emotion <clears throat> that has an opposite. What we are speaking about is the ability to release our attachments and identifications with the feelings that keep us struggling and surviving is our ability to feel those feelings, not to try to take one feeling and make it into love, not to say instead of sadness, I choose love, but how can love embrace the ability to be sad? How can love help me overcome a fear of being afraid? And how can I allow myself to feel fear as a way of allowing it to transmute in an alchemical process as part of being aligned with divine timing in awareness that we are always co-creating, not just when we feel positive states and not developing erroneous 
superstitions that say if I'm feeling negative emotions, I'm creating from that vibrational platitude. But instead saying, I am not going from sadness to love, but bringing love to the sadness within me. I'm not going from fear to love, but bringing love to the fear within me. I'm not going from doing to being, but allowing my doing to emanate from a state of beingness. And in this, love allows all parts of self to be seen, all voices to be heard, and to help us integrate instead of fragment along our soul's highest timeline. And may it be so. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I promised he wasn't going to do it. Mic drop. <laughs> that was so beautiful. <laughs>